Hey everybody, so I have my paper towel roll here. Um, you can also use a toilet paper roll or if you have a wrapping paper roll from Christmas or birthday paper, you can use that as well to create your rain stick. And so I just wanted to go ahead and I'm gonna use brown paint. You don't have to use brown paint, um, but it's really cool to use brown paint because when Native Americans do create rain sticks, they usually make them out of wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to, even though our paper towel roll is already brown, um, when we take the paper towel off of it, it leaves some glue residue, as you can see right here. So we kind of want to cover that up. So I'm just going to add some extra brown paint and I'm going to go over that. But you don't have to use brown. You can use any color you want. And after we let that dry, we're going to decorate it. And I'm going to show you all the different cool ways we can decorate it. Um, and all the different steps that we can do to make it fun. So right now we're just working on covering up uh, our paper towel or toilet paper roll or our wrapping paper roll, which is made out of cardboard. If you have some other cool idea uh, for your rain stick um, and you wanna use something else, I would be very interested to see what you come up with. So I just very quickly, and you can see how fast I did that. Um, and it might take some time to dry, so we're gonna wait a little bit, and we wanna make sure it's dry before we add any kind of designs or anything. But you can see how I covered that up pretty quickly. It doesn't take too much time. Um, and then you kinda probably just wanna stand it up somewhere safe to dry and make sure it's nice and even, okay? And you do wanna have something underneath you because uh, you don't wanna get it on your parents' table or any other kind of surface. So I'm just using a piece of uh, poster board that I had laying around or you can use a piece of newspaper or pieces of magazine to put underneath, underneath it um, to cover it up so you don't get it on any surface in your house um, that you don't want to get ruined. So I'm done with mine and I'm just going to stand it up and I'm just going to wait a little bit for it to dry and you can do the same with yours. Hey everybody, we are back after our um, paper towel roll and toilet paper roll has dried. Um, so now we're going to create the bottom. Um, and I just picked two pieces of fun paper I had at home. You don't have to, whoops, you don't have to have colorful paper. You can use whatever kind of paper you want. You can use tin foil, um, which looks like this, or you can put whatever you want on the bottom, but I'm going to use this colorful paper just because you guys know I love lots of color. So I'm going to cut mine. I'm going to crumple it up. Okay, so mine's really crumpled in. Make sure you want to really crumple it good. Okay, and then I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to cover the bottom. I'm going to do the toilet paper roll first. So I'm covering the bottom of that and I'm using a rubber band to secure the bottom of it, okay? Just like that, okay? So now it's secured, nothing can come out the bottom of it, all right? So we've got that and it looks good. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing and I'm gonna use a different color. We're not gonna do the top part, we're gonna skip over to um, <clears throat> the paper towel roll really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Crumple, 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 crumple up my paper. Crumple it really good. And then open it up. And then I'm gonna put it on top 
of the paper towel roll. And then I am going to secure it with a rubber band. And if you don't have rubber bands at home, that's okay. Um, I actually used hair ties <laughs> for one. So, and it works and it's still fun. And um, the whole point is to have fun and um, enjoy an art project and make music. So we got the top part done and then we will come back and then I'm going to show you um, how we flip it over and oh, gotta flip that over and then we fill it and then we do the top part and then that's how we make music and I'll teach you why Native Americans did all this and created rain sticks. Hey everybody, welcome back again. Um, we are ready to move on to the next step. Um, so now it is time to fill our rain sticks and they are ready. So uh, the way we're gonna do this is I have tin foil here at home, but you can also use pipe cleaners if you want and you can <clears throat> twist them and put them inside and you can twist them like this and just kind of wrap them around your finger and you can put them inside of your paper towel roll or whatever you chose to use, okay? And that will help um, the sound effect, okay? So you can use pipe cleaners if you have them. If you don't have them, I'm pretty sure everybody has some tin foil at their house. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so I'm gonna take my tin foil, okay? And I'm going to make a very straight kind of line out of it. I'm just gonna keep going like this. We're gonna kind of grab it tight like that make it into a straight line and we're going to kind of grab it tight and push it together and then what we're going to do is we're going to wind it into a spiral so it can fit inside of our tube that we made so i'm going to take this one that i just made okay and I'm gonna place it inside my paper towel roll because this one's kind of kind of long, okay? So I'm gonna place that in there, okay? And that's how we do that. Um, and if you don't have anything uh, long enough, like I said, you can use uh, pipe cleaners and just kind of spin them around your finger and you can stick them inside the toilet paper roll like that. And then I will be showing you the next step on how we fill it and what we can fill it with to make lots of cool sounds and noises. Okay guys, I'm sure you're so excited for the next step. So uh, <clears throat> I have my tin foil inside of this roll. And so what I'm gonna do is I have a bag of rice and I'm going to add some rice in there and it already kind of sounds like rain, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of rice. I'm just gonna lay it down very carefully. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of rice, not too much, inside the toilet paper roll. Just a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna set my rice aside. And then the next step is I'm going to show you how to connect the top and then we'll go on from there. All right, so once again, I'm coming back and I have my paper towel roll and I am going to take my green paper just like we did on the bottom part I'm going to crumple it up really good. Make sure it's nice and crumpled. I'm gonna unfold it. 
very carefully, I'm gonna pick up the tube. I'm gonna place this over the top. And once again, I'm going to secure it with a rubber band. And depending on the size of your rubber band, you might have to wrap it around twice, which in this case I do because this rubber band is larger than the one I used on the bottom. So there we go, I got that. So let's see just like what that sounds like before we decorate it, ready? Pretty cool, sounds like rain to me. All right, and then so we're gonna go over to our smaller roll and I'm going to cut the other side for the toilet paper roll. I'm gonna crumble it, crumble it, crumble it, make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to unwrap it, open it up, okay? And then I'm gonna cover the other end. And if it's a little too big, you can always cut it down. Like I'm kind of not liking the way this looks. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more off of it, which you can do that it's too much because I want to be able to add designs to the actual toilet paper roll. So there we go. I got enough to cover the bottom part of it. I got it crumpled up. Okay. And you can always fix things as you go. So there we go, I fixed it and it looks good. And we always sometimes make mistakes and they're happy mistakes, but that's how we learn. And I'm going to go around with a rubber band and make sure that's tightly sealed and secure. And we have a little shaker, very cool. All right, so nothing is flying out of it. Um, I do have some rice here um, because I kind of missed when I was pouring it in, but that's okay. Everything else looks pretty good. Um, and now the best part is we get to decorate. Yay. So, um, hope you enjoyed on knowing how to actually make it. And then really quickly, I'm just going to show you some ways, different ways or different things you can add to it. Um, you can add yarn, you can add glitter, you can add all different kinds of things. You can even paint extra designs on, uh, and I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, guys, and we are back once again, and um, I got some cool things to decorate my rain stick with. Uh, I've got some yarn, which I can weave around it. I've got some sequins here with just regular school glue. I've got some paint pens. Uh, you can actually paint it with, um, you know, different colored paint. And even if you didn't paint your roll to begin with, that's okay. You can still just color it with markers or crayons. Like I have paint at home, but if you don't have paint at home, that's okay. Uh, there's different things you can use and just be creative and try something new and try something fun. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna decorate mine, and you can go ahead and decorate yours, and then we'll see what everybody's looks like at the end. All right, awesome, can't wait to see it. Hey everyone, I just added some uh, yarn onto the end of mine, onto my shakers, which is really cool. And I used some paint pens that I had at home to put some cool, little decorations on them and I had different colors. I guess I didn't use the pink one. So we're just going to do a quick squiggly line with the pink. And you can use all different colors or you can use the same color if you want. And I'm going to add some extra little designs for embellishments we should say. Embellishments are things that are sparkly and make them shiny. So I'm gonna add some sequins onto mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that right now. And you can do that too, you don't have to. If you don't have that stuff at home, that's okay. 
you can add whatever you want. All right, anything that you can find that's creative. You wanna add rocks, you wanna add feathers. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to add was feathers, which I should probably have added because I have some of those at home. So maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. I don't have to though if I don't want to. So that's entirely up to you. Whatever you have, you can do. So I just wanted to share that with you and we'll go from there. And I hope everybody had fun and we'll talk about why these were created and we'll go from there. I hope you had a great time.